take 500 billion thousand six hundred sixty seven thousand in the beginning i never thought it would be you hey guys today we're going to be doing a diy or a do it yourself and a lot of you guys have requested for us to do a diy and the reason why we haven't been doing any is because we're not very crafty like at all and we don't really know how to make a lot of the products and that is why but if you guys have any ideas that you guys want us to do for diys you guys can leave them in the comments below like your little dance there Chloe. <laughs> so today we're gonna be making a DIY sea salt spray. If you guys don't know what a sea salt spray is, basically like after you come home from the beach then you know you have like that textured hair. So that's basically what this sea salt spray does. And a lot of the sea salt spray you can buy it in the drugstore but it can be a little bit pricey and this one you guys can make by yourself at home. A lot of the ingredients are things you can find at home. Plus this is a lightening hairspray which you can do naturally without any of the harsh chemicals and dyeing process and all of the damaging things that it can do for your hair. This is made out of natural organic ingredients and it's just much better for your hair than you know dyeing your hair. So if you guys are looking for a easy natural dyeing or lightening hairspray then you guys can try this out and this is also a two-in-one product where you can you know texture your hair and lighten your hair at the same time so that is our DIY so like Anja said this is made out of natural organic products instead of chemicals so it is not damaging for your hair the things that we use to make it are things that you can find in your house like lemons and water and also some hair products that you might already own but if you don't then all the things we use are also pretty affordable and also in this video we're going to show you not only how to put up this spray together but we're also going to show you how we like to use it because for our type of hair, we don't have naturally curly hair like some of you guys may be blessed with. But we have straight hair, so we're going to show you how we use it and how it works for us. So if you have similar hair like ours, then you know it could be helpful to you to see how you could use the spray you're going to make. So that is it for a super long intro. Let's get into the video and what you need. Here's what you need for the DIY. A cup of hot water. But not boiling. Lemons. Or lemon juice. Sea salt. Measuring spoon. A leave-in conditioner cream. And a curl sculpting gel and an empty bottle that has a spray on it. This is just an empty nail polish remover bottle with a normal spray top. So first you want to pour your water into the empty bottle. This is going to be the base for your spray. Now you want to take your sea salt and put it into the measuring spoons. We did half a teaspoon. You can add more sea salt if you want more texture and you're just going to pour that in. Now take a lemon and remove its seeds. You can skip this part if you already have lemon juice, but just take those seeds out and then you're just going to squeeze your lemon into your measuring cup. We did one and a half tablespoons. So just keep squeezing and you'll see that juice will pour out of there and just keep doing that. The reason we're adding lemon to the spray is because this is what is going to lighten your hair. But the lemons will only lighten your hair if you're in the sun, so if you do want to lighten your hair, then be sure to wear this outside. Now that you've got this ugly looking lemon, you can just put that away. Now taking a gel, you can use any gel. This is a curl sculpting gel by Garnier Fructis. So just add that in about a teaspoon so that it can hold your curls. Next, take a leave-in conditioner cream. This is by Garnier Fructis and pour that in. About a tablespoon to condition your hair. And just close up that bottle and shake, 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 shake. Now if you have a sticker on it, you can just peel that off. To make your bottle look cuter. And you can decorate it if you want, but we just left it look ugly. But you know, just do whatever you want to do for yourself. And now you've completed the DIY spray. You can just test it out a bit. So now we're going to show you how we use it. So first, overnight, we had our hair in braids. So just remove those braids and you'll get these nice waves. But now, to add some texture, we're going to use the sea salt spray. And just keep on scrunching it up. So you just want to basically apply this all over your hair and this would just enhance your curls and add a lot of texture and volume and if you want even more volume you can flip your hair over and just spray that into your hair and that will ensure a lot of volume into your hair. 
So that is it for how we apply it and now you can see we have very voluminous beachy hair. That is it for our DIY sea salt lightning hairspray. Thank you, on you. Oh, I thought it was going to be Okay. If you guys like this video, then please thumbs it up and comment down below if you want more DIYs and all your things you guys want to see. So if you guys make the spray, then please tweet us a picture of the spray and it in your hair or whatever you guys want to send it to us. So tweet it or Instagram, Instagram. it with the hashtag BLOBeauties. If you guys Instagram it, we'll probably see it more. You could also tag us at BLO Beauties because we see usually all our notifications and um, we want we really want to see you guys because we want to thumbs it up and you know know that this is actually something you guys like like a DIY kind of videos and that is it for this video bye bye <laughs> that doesn't look organized what happens <laughs> the plastic bag is flying oh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, you're gonna get a seat in there. No, no, stop. You are doing nothing. <laughs> I squeezed it in. I did like this. Like, what am I doing? Gotcha. Good job. <laughs> Got it. Good. <laughs> get it. Got it. Good. And let us know. I just felt a little rain. Drop. In the beginning